Cause your heart is fine and gold, babe See you from the inside I'm so tired for you Ask me questions, but I never gave you answers. So now this video is gonna be the answers to the question. I'm not gonna say anybody's name. I'm just gonna give y'all answers. Like if I feel like the question is outrageous, I'm probably just gonna skip over that. What's your skincare routine? Unfortunately, I don't have a skincare routine, you guys. Well, I can tell you this. When I break out, I use black soap. I guess I don't really have like really, really bad skin, so I don't really put too much on my skin, but if I was to use something, it would just be black soap and coconut oil. How did your brand begin and what steps did you take? Right now, I'm branding myself with these Ermalocks. I'm not sure if you guys know what Ermalocks are, have ever seen Ermalocks, but there are plenty of pictures on my Instagram page, at Styles by Naya. It's gonna be right there. Probably might be over here. Who knows? You know how this editing shit go. I don't know. I, I really feel like if you want to build a brand, if you want to start anything, as far as like a movement for yourself, you should just stick to it. Just keep pushing. But I think I'm going to stick with Touch by Naya and, you know, Ermalox is my signature. My signature hairstyle. So, where am I from? I am from Augusta, Georgia. East Boundary. East Espinosa Street. That's where I'm from. If you could travel anywhere for free, where would you go? Hmm, for free? Africa, nigga. I want to go to Africa. I want to see what's really popping. Like, I just, I want to go to Africa. What inspired you to be a hairstylist? Hmm. Inspiration-wise, the only inspiration I have is... I've always been doing hair. I've been doing hair since I was like, I was eight when my little sister was born. Since I was like eight years old. Yeah, I've been doing hair for a long time. But I I didn't start doing other people's hair until I got in college and understood what it meant to be broke. And I didn't want to work. What inspired me, I honestly have no idea. Like it was just, it's really, to be honest, hair is just something that I can do and something that I'm just very serious and passionate about. Like as far as it being a being or something to inspire me, no, I inspire myself to do what I love and to, you know, have faith in my craft. If you could do anything in your life, what would it be? I would want to open up bank accounts, like multiple bank accounts so that I can disperse my million dollars. Who are you inspired by when it comes to style? And when I really have on something like real, 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 real fire, like, I don't know. What keeps you going every day? This motherfucking money, honey. The coins, the coins get me going. Comparing Naya two years ago to Naya now. Like, I just love to see evolution. I love to see progression. You know what I'm saying? Especially in somebody my age. I'm 21 years old. Yes, that was a question. How old are you? What's my sign? I'm a Taurus. My birthday is April 24th. I was born in 1996. Okay. Hi, what inspired me to keep going? Being able to do it all over again. Being able to have another 24 hours to get it together. And I'm just glad that I have multiple tries, multiple times to do it and get it right. Like, that's my inspiration. I got another 24. Let's come up with some other shit. Let's create some other shit. That's what I be thinking. What made you want to do YouTube? I'm really funny. I'm, I'm really legit funny without the camera. So, just imagine if I get on the camera and I do it, like, coin. Coins, I mean the coins. Coins keep me goings, okay? What's your goals, short-term and long-term? Okay, my short-term goals, manage my money better, work out more, and push more content for YouTube. My long-term goal, I want to be a celebrity stylist for only like four celebrities. Once everybody on the planet has had Irma Locks, my mission will be complete. I know that everybody on the planet is not gonna get it, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like the people that really fuck with it, I want you to be able to have a chance to get your hair done by me. What makes you yourself? This gap, my eyes, y'all, it's nobody that I look up to. I've been looking for a role model. I'm still looking for a role model. I'm only 21 though, so 
I mean, I guess I'll find one eventually. How do you prep yourself to start your everyday life? I set my alarm for 7 o'clock a.m., 7.30 a.m., 8 o'clock a.m., 8.30 a.m., 9 o'clock a.m., 9.30. At 7 o'clock, that's when I open my eyes and realize, like, okay, you're breathing today. You know, you need to get up, meditate, get your mind right. Coming to realization that you're breathing today, you have to get out of the bed. You have to get out of the bed. That's what I do. Unless I'm running late. Now, me running late, yeah, that's another story. What was the first style you experimented with before becoming a hairstylist? Like something I tried before I was like, oh yeah, I'm really fine. I did feeding braids on myself. I did sew-ins on myself. I made wigs for myself. I did like an up-down style on legs. I'm not sure if y'all seen that. I'll insert a clip. Yeah, that style right there. That's when I was like, oh yo, it go. What's one gender neutral piece you feel everyone should have in their closet? A fucking hoodie, dude. Everybody need a hoodie. If you don't have a hoodie, if you don't own a hoodie, you're not on my wave. You're not my type. You're not my. You're not a. You're not of my taste. Okay. What's one beauty product you swear by? Lip gloss. Any type of lip gloss. I need lip gloss. I need lipstick. Cause my lips are huge. Chapstick, Carmex. Um. I'm trying out this new matte lipstick. I'll give y'all deets on that in another video, but. Are you mixed? If so, with what? I am mixed with black and black. Favorite restaurant and dish? My favorite restaurant is Saffron's in Charleston, South Carolina. And my favorite dish is Philly cheesesteak with the French fries. I'm lying, my favorite restaurant is Olive Garden. And name of the operator. How'd you get started with doing hair? I was in college. I was working at Walmart. I was doing hair. I was getting money at Walmart. I was getting money doing hair. I was like, damn, I'd be at Walmart all for the day for like 12 hours. If I did hair for 12 hours, I can get this amount of money. If I did Walmart for 12 hours, mm, I'm gonna do hair as this. When are you coming to party with Talk to Me? I don't know. When's the next party? What have you learned from your past relationships? Oh my God! Don't trust no nigga, no. No, you can't trust no motherfucker. Get going. Motherfucker, get going. No, I'm just fine. You cannot go into a relationship expecting things from your past. First of all, before you enter a relationship, make sure that you're over the last person that you were with. One. You cannot go into a relationship with a totally different person with the same expectations of the person that you were previously with, too. Money is not everything. You can have all the money in the world, and I'm still not gonna fuck with you if you do some fucking shit. I'm sorry. You can have all the money in the world, and I'm still not gonna deal with you if you do something wrong. Giving me money and sending me shopping is not... No. I'm not, I'm not gonna forget. That does not make me forget. Get to know your partner before you have sex with them. This usually takes anywhere from three months to five years. And barely even in because niggas switch up at giving out fun. What's the most ridiculous argument you had? I had a lot of ridiculous arguments. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? I will be 26. Be living in LA, California. Um, yeah. I will have my first Four hair stores are already open. It's gonna be one in Augusta, it's gonna be one in Atlanta, it's gonna be one in LA, and it's gonna be one in Houston, Texas, or Dallas. I haven't figured that one out yet. I'm gonna drive a freaking G-Wagon. It's gonna be my car. I'm not gonna have any children. No children, no kids, no, no, no. A quarter million dollars in my one of my bank accounts. Um, what are the top five songs in your music rotation right now? Ah, I can play it for y'all. This is really number one.
back and forth. Yeah. I was looking on stand, but baby, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. She stripping in my face like this should be over. Yeah. 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 Shout at the baddest bitch up in this party. You know, when I was walking from the lobby, yeah. I'ma shoot this shot with this twerk ain't shot. Yeah. I can't stand these bitches, and these niggas wanna be thug ass niggas, but I'm from the suburb, bad niggas, old dub bad niggas. Swear to God, fuck you, nigga. Now, bad city bitches, saying that they thick, but they really be fat ass bitches, and these skinny ass bitches, saying that they poking that shit, poking, but your back don't bitch. My thoughts on this 21st century love. I feel like a lot of relationships are based off of social media validation, off of social media. Everything is so social media in this century so it's kind of hard to find like real 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 genuine people i found my genuine person a long time ago like i'm just uh, i hope i don't know i don't give a damn how has your natural hair journey been this is the week sis. um my natural hair journey is awesome i'm gonna dedicate a video to the answer to that what is my favorite color this is my favorite color you can't tell? You ain't been following me since day one? What's my favorite color? Seriously. First thing I do when I wake up is roll over and say, babe, wake up. For my morning prayer. Look for my phone. Honestly. What's your dream car and why? My dream car is a motherfucking G Wagon because I just like sitting up high, like how that big feed we sit in it, like a little scrub, you feel me? But you know, it's a lot of cars that I haven't been exposed to, so I don't really know. But as of right now, a G Wagon is my dream car. Five years ago, did you think you would be where you are now? Are you doing better than you thought, or could you do better? Five. You know how old I was five years ago? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Hell no, hell no, five years ago. Hell no, I'm doing way better. Whole, my whole relationship, friendships, partnerships, businessships, attitude, everything is better. I'm doing damn good. I don't even wanna talk about five years ago. My favorite childhood memory. My favorite childhood memory. My favorite childhood memory. Well, I don't know, but a good memory. Well, something that was good that I experienced was not, this was not good, but it's a good experience to talk about. My, my dad and my stepmom used to take us on trips, like me and my siblings and cousins and stuff like that. Sometimes my cousins, but always me and my siblings. Um, they used to take us on trips. And one time we would come through Indianapolis, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indianapolis, Indiana. And it was a tornado. This is the car. It was a tornado coming this way. It was a tornado coming that way. And it was a tornado behind us. And my dad got us out of it. I don't know how, but he got us out of it, y'all. That's my favorite thing to talk about because I just remember us being little kids and my older cousin was like, just just get on your knees. We in a big ass van, like one of those futuristic vans with a TV in it and a big ass backseat. Like, we had a van. We in the backseat. We on our knees. My cousin, like, say the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. So we all about us harmonizing and shit so much. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. And we was just sitting on the back seat. We was holding each other's hands. My big cousin, um, he was like, well, they call him my twin, Ronan. He was like, um, it's going to be okay, Naya. It's going to be okay. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. We're going to be okay. So, that's my I know that's crazy, but that's like my favorite childhood memory, honestly. Um, when did you realize you wanted to rock blonde hair? And what other color have you tried? Tuh! Seventh grade, baby. I've been wearing blonde hair since seventh grade, since since I was playing basketball days in middle school. Oh yes, yeah, another thing. Somebody asked me, do I play sports? I don't play sports, but I can play basketball. Yeah. Um, and I was a cheerleader in high school. Basketball and cheerleading, yeah. Blind is just, <laughs> blind is just me. Like, don't y'all agree? 
I have done other colors like black, purple, pink. Yeah, I've done other colors, but this color, this is like my base color. My real hair is blonde. Not this light, but it's it's blonde. Because I, I, me and black hair, we just don't. I'm black, but yeah. What was the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? A lot of embarrassing shit that happened to me, y'all. I don't know. Oh. I'm trying to think, like, life-wise. I don't know. I'm cool as fuck. If y'all went to school with me or something like that, y'all remember something embarrassing about me, let me tell me the story so that I can, like, reiterate. Because nine times out of ten, if some embarrassing shit happened to me, I done did everything in my power to forget about it. So, yeah, I really forgot. I don't know. Why is your hair blonde in every picture? I want y'all to know that I really love my hair being blonde. I don't know. I just... I, I do what I want. Yeah. What's your favorite clothing design? I think crop top. That was the closing of. Okay, so I've answered all of the questions. I think if I missed anybody, just let me know. I have more goodies coming for you guys soon, so just make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that share button. Get it popped. All right.